I went to school in Bethnal Green. Rains Foundation was my third secondary school and the only one I managed to survive at. There were a number of moments in my childhood when I realised that I had to be my own boss and go into business. And one of them was when I was at this school and my head teacher, Mr Avery, said to me, you'll never get a job, you'll only be unemployed. I responded saying, you know what, I'm going to work for myself. So this is Teasdale Street in Bethnal Green. This is where I grew up. And I guess, well, I was actually born here. So I was born at home and I spent my childhood here until I was the age of 16. And childhood in this part of London was just fantastic. You can imagine there was loads of us, loads of kids, a huge community all playing on the streets. You know, we played marbles on the drains. We played football in the square. We played knockdown ginger in the tower blocks around us. Everything about my childhood was mainly in this street or very close to it. So this is where the 11 year career in the Imps Motorcycle Display Team started in 1984. When I was four years of age, my parents brought me here to see the first show. The Imps is a charity. It was set up to help underprivileged children from East London, mainly Hackney and Bethnal Green. It's just amazing what they achieved. I mean, they took us from the housing estates of Bethnal Green and we got to travel all over the world. It taught us real discipline and how to interact with others. And being able to support the imps ourselves, I mean, my wife and I signed a cheque for £100,000 last year to help other children hopefully get the same upbringing that I did. It's a great privilege to be able to do that. So this is where it all started, age 16, having left school with no qualifications. Had a couple of businesses just by myself, but literally a piece of land selling cars. And then this was the first office. This is where I first started employing people and making real money, I guess. Made a million pound in year one. Had a massive fallout with the shareholders. Resigned, went home, set up a new company. Good times. So this is one of East London's finest eateries. I had five offices around this area for nine years, so I got to know the guys pretty well. But as the business expanded, we did move off into the city. And this is where the second business ended up. 175 people in the city of London. And we sold this in 2016 for 24 and a half million pounds. So after selling my second business, I set up a third, which was in the financial services technology field. And that was great because I went out and rose 42 million pounds worth of debt with the view to do a number of acquisitions, but then managed to sell the business in just 10 months for 9.2 million pounds. So my next venture, Firestarters, is all about how I can help others succeed in business. I mean, I've run and grown many businesses over my life and made pretty much most mistakes that anyone can make. So if through my cash and time, I can help others be as successful as I've been, if not greater, while making fewer mistakes, that can only be a good thing. So if you're an early stage business, looking for a balanced investment partner that brings more than just cash, but time and experience, then get in contact today.